Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Risk of Rain 2 Modded. We are jumping in again and we are going to be just taking a look at good old Agent 47 Commander but with some new abilities. Let's take a look at what we have available here because we have quite a few and there's some that are unlockable as you can see and some that we already have to start with. So regularly we'd start with the good old double tap uh, and I think the regular alternate ability is uh, Pulse I believe. Um, but we have some options, we have some options. So. We've got ourselves double tap here, which is shooting rapidly, um, that's fine. We've got embedded detonators, which sounds interesting. Fire 10 bullets which embed into the enemies and do 75% damage and impact before having to reload, causing all bullets in the enemy to explode. Ooh, I like that idea. That's quite, that's quite fun. Stunning, firing a slow energy blast for 700% damage in an explosion has strong recoils. That'd be our primary fire, that's interesting. Uh, deadly fire. Rapid burst fire dealing 100% damage and 300% more on the last bullet. Pulse is rapidly shoot 4 bullets with high recoil. Damage per shot ramps from 75 to 150 over the course of the burst. We have heavy bullets. Slow shooting uh, an enemy for 350% damage. Or we have burst fire. Shoot an uh, shooting an enemy um, at an extremely high rate of fire. Has 100% damage and has uh, 60 ammo with a 2 second cooldown. I think I'm going to go with the uh, Embedded Detonators. It sounds like the most interesting. Although, I have to say the Burst Fire also sounds good. Maybe, no, I'll go with Burst Fire. Let's go with that. And then here we've got um, the Secondary Fire. So we've got Phase Rounds and Phase Blast, which are the two default ones, I believe. Um, piercing Round for 300% damage. Deal 40% more damage for every enemy it passes through. Fire two Close Range Blasts for 8 times 200% damage. Uh, we've got Barrage, Stunning, Fire Barrage of Target Locked Rockets, 400% uh, damage, that seems pretty interesting. Um, Azure Shot, Blast for 1,002% uh, damage. Uh, afflicts Azure Flames, reducing ad by 33% and burning every half a second. Ooh, that's very nice. And we also have the Phase Beam, shoot through enemies and knock them back. I think we're going to go with the Barrage, that seems like the most fun. With our Utility, we normally have the Roll, we can also go with the Slide, I think the Slide generally is the better one of the two. Uh, but we've also got the Jink Jet and the Tactical Liftoff. Perform a small jet-assisted horizontal jump in your aiming direction. Holds up to three. Ignite launches upwards, dealing 500% damage. So that wouldn't be much of a movement skill, but I like the idea of being able to launch the air and fire the barrage. And our special here, we've got the Suppressive Fire um, for the regular sort of burst of shots. Or we've got the Grenades, which are regular as well. But then we've also got the Stim Shot, the Frost Grenade, and the Plasma grenade as well. So stim shot, administer a standard issue uh, stimulant guaranteed to boost general health and response speed. So I'm guessing that basically means um, we heal faster when we use that, which is kind of good. We've got a ice grenade that erupts into a freezing blast and we've also got a plasma grenade, a sticky grenade, uh, very close range homing that explodes for damage, hold up to two, watch your aim near low walls. I'm guessing that means it can kill us, but I'm down for it. I'm down for it. Let's 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 just jump into a run here. I like this idea of these skills, and this will be quite fun. It's something quite different, and it, it just adds some some variance to characters that we already know well. And also, I love the way this guy looks. So, with this, oh yeah, we've got. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. That's 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 very rapid fire. That is. That's very rapid fire. Then with our mouse two, uh, sorry, our, our, our movement, we can do that little blast into the air. With our mouse two, we fire this barrage. Ooh, and they're, they're very homing. Very homing by the looks of it. Okay, so that, that movement skill isn't great. I, w I would have expected it to be a little bit better in terms of movement than that. But it's, it's on a pretty quick refresh and it does burn enemies. So it has some damage utility as well, which is kind of nice. And then let's try out our grenades here. I like it. I like it. We've got, some, we've got some interesting stuff going on here. Let's go and try and find some chests. Yeah, movement-wise, we've not got anything crazy going on. Not, not, not like the roll or slide. Those two are pretty strong in terms of actual momentum and movement. We'll check what we've got going on in here. Disable skills and enemies, but disables non-primary skills and survivors. I would rather not, thank you. I would rather not disable my skills. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, we can fire three. And then, yeah, they just kind of home in. I really like that. That's very nice. Um, I think the apple is better regen, if I remember correctly. Increase health regen for the next 20 minutes. Yeah, we like that. We like that. 
And we've got take less damage when health is below uh, between 30 and 70%. That's pretty good. But yeah, I can just kind of go like this and then let it do its thing. Fire it up in the air. In fact, I can kind of pair it with this. I wonder if I can increase the jump height on that. Um, I think there is a few modded items that lower gravity. I think they'd work quite well with that. Hee <laughs> hee. I love this. This is really good. Some really interesting skills here. I'm, I'm actually really, really liking this. The super rapid fire. Got a herpy feather there as well. And we can bomb ourselves as well, I believe. What we got going on here? Purchase the Sacred Flame. Yeah, well, why not? I don't know what that does, but we'll give it a go. It's something modded. I've been able to set things on fire like that is rather nice. Right, where art thou other chests? Okay, we can see our teleport is just over there. It's a bit of a risk here, and I'm probably going to take quite a bit of fall damage. In fact, no, I'm not. <laughs> Herpoo Feather, saving our life. We'll go over here and do this challenge shrine. Boom. I really, really like that ability. I'm liking all of these, to be honest. Look at that combo of, like, damage there. We can even, like, mix in a little bit of this, mix with that, jump away. Oh, that's beautiful. What a combo. Kind of do the whole shebang. Boom. It's kind of like the reverse Goomba Stomp. We un-Goomba Stomp them and set them on fire. See you, Mr. Invisible. Right. Got any chests up here? We do indeed. We do indeed. Boom, boom, bow. I like it. I think playing with fire and um, getting some fire-based effects would be quite nice here. Slightly increased crit chance. Crit recites give you gold. That's actually pretty amazing, to be honest. Especially if we can bolster our crit chance even more. We'll come back to chance shrines. We'd like rather spend our money elsewhere first. We do have a little thingy here to get ourselves an equipment. It's always nice in the first stage to find one of those. Boy, a siren that triggers on teleport item effects. Oh, that's kind of nice. Wouldn't have thought of having an item that does that, but it's, it's, it's a nice idea. Right, so we can do that. Oh, I think when I actually activate the teleporter, it goes away. We've got Stone Titan, which is up here. Okay, it's going down reasonably quickly already. Yeah, this is, this is good with the fire damage and stuff. Not the most powerful ever, but it's doing the job. We fire a right click plus a grenade. That does a, a good bit. Yeah, beautiful stuff. And we unlocked embers, which is, I believe, another character. Some incoming damage is dealt over time. It's fine. As Commander Ben and he's... Oh, there you go. We've got Catch Fire. That's a new ability unlocked, I believe. We're unlocking some good stuff here. I'm not quite sure what's giving us the targeting circle, by the way. The little sort of blue circle around enemies. I think that's my right click. It's, gonna, it's telling us what our next um, what our next targeted enemy will be with our right click, by the looks of it. I still don't know what this little blue, this little fire does. I, maybe this is the, the green armor I've got here. I think I've got some jade armor. That's what that is. That's why I've got these, these green armor things around me. I'm really liking the machine gun rapid fire style we got going on here. It's nice. Boom. And the grenade feels really satisfying to use as well. Right, through we go. So they're just bonus uh, teleporter effects, re realistically, to help us out. I'm going to have to pause real quick. We'll be back in this. Let's go straight to the next stage. See how we end up take getting taken. Ooh, we got the wetlands nice morning as well. Oh, it looks like it, this actually looks like a really nice stage in the morning, to be honest. Okay, we've got a big health chest here, which is good. Oh, one second again, I apologize. My god, so many phone calls. Why, whenever I'm doing YouTube videos, is there so many phone calls? Right, let's go. Okay, so we've got some good stuff here already, and we've got actually some good choices. We've got two chests there, Chan Shrine, and we've got this over here. Uh, so we've got a lot to work with right now. Take you out. 
I wonder if I can just do this and then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like that ability. That ability is a lot of fun. And it's got a pretty quick recharge as well. And it seems to have, like, pretty much unlimited range. Like, isn't this the ability that I can get multiple uses of as well? Oh, dude. Whoa. Are them grenades herming as well? Hold up. Did I, I... I I might have read that already, but I didn't... I didn't remember, at least. Okay, th they don't seem to be as strong herming if they are. But the explosion radius, that seems pretty good, though. I like it. Just gonna save it for the big healing chest first, I think. And that's slightly more important. Might use that 3D printer on my green items, actually. I, my green items aren't that good, so let's see what this, uh, this one is. It's fuel cell. Fuel cell's very good, but we don't really have an active that works well with fuel cell right now. Fuel cell gives you an extra charge of your active and slightly lowers your active cooldown. It can be very, very strong as stacked. Um, so, potentially a good a good pick. Potentially a good pick. Let's open up this uh, green health chest. And we get another one of these negative feedback loop bands. Which right now I don't know how good they are, to be honest. Go, my pretties. Go! I like having Herpy Feather. I think the only disappointment with our skills is this movement ability. I thought the launch up into the air would be a much higher launch. Give HP uh, the more utility items you have. Pretty good. Oh, gain HP, sorry. Okay, I see. Oh, wh what, what's this? This is a new enemy to me. I've never seen this before. Ooh, it's a cool one. I like it. Right, what we got going on in here? Shield generator, some sort of coin, and then I don't know what that does. Looks like it's something that would might affect drones, though. Oh, it literally got him right as he spawned. How much are we paying for this? 60, okay. I'll take one fuel cell. Um, we didn't lose Herpu Feather. What did we lose there? Oh, we, just, we lost the item we just got, which is unfortunate. But I think, I think even one fuel cell is worthwhile here. I really want more charges of that. We do have another active thing there. It seems to have, like, proximity herming. If it gets really close to an enemy, it herms. Attacks reach farther and deal slightly more damage. Okay, that's actually fine. And then we'll come over down here and uh, grab the other active, because I'd rather have something else. Oh, yes. Okay. Honestly, it's it's fuel cell time, baby. Five fuel cells in this bad boy. Yes, please. Five fuel cells in this bad boy. Yes, please. Create a vine clones. Ooh, a thick fog builds. Oh, that's cool. Is that new? That's awesome. I really like that. Oh my god, it's very thick. Go, my pretties. Go! Seek out... Okay, it's gonna be a little hard to find chests, but luckily they, are, they do glow, so it makes things a little easier. Okay, so I've got a double jump with her. Oh, I don't have Herpy Feather anymore. I'm stupid. I was like, why is Herpy Feather not working? Because I got rid of it, you moron. That would explain why. What does this do? Periodically fires weak projectiles at her uh, uh, enemies, or hostiles even. Seems good to me. And them guys make some weird noises. Oh, we've got something there. I need some extra movement speed is what, what would be really nice right now. Movement speed would be pretty goddamn good. Because with this movement ability, we're slow. Okay, fog has cleared. That's nice. I didn't, didn't realise that was a periodic thing or if it was going to be for the rest of the stage. I'm glad it isn't for the rest of the stage. 
Because it's actually a very clear day right now at the moment, so we're able to see a, see quite a lot. And I think we probably have quite a lot more to get. I did see a chest over this way during the fog, but I've kind of lost track of it now. Boom, boom. You see what I mean there? Look, it gets close and then it sticks. I really like that. So we've got two things that have some sort of pseudo herming. One of them's more herming than the other. Oh, something hit me there. We do have a Chan Shrine down there. Boom. It's a little hard. It's, it's got to be very close before it starts doing the herming. Where's that Chan Shrine? Oh, there it is. We've got to have more chests about, right? Critical strikes do more damage. I like that. A 3D printer over here as well as a chest. The, this is why I need him to glow. Otherwise, I just wouldn't see him in the water like that. Again, temporary armor upon taking damage. That seems useful enough. Oh my god. These things are insanely fast. Holy shit. I did see the teleporter back over there. I think. I think it's just that way. Yes, it is. I do want to see if I can just spam a ton of clones of myself. Okay, I think we're out of luck for the rest of the chests, honestly. I think we kind of spawned near all of them was the problem. Boom. Okay, let's go do the boss. Nice for getting up little gaps like that, I guess. Good thing is if we miss with that, or we kill an enemy, it just goes to the next enemy. Don't have to worry. There might even be a chest down here that I didn't see, actually. It's go time, clones. See how this goes. Okay, I think there is a limit as to how many I can have out at once. But... <laughs> It seems pretty amazing for the boss. Hey, and we got the healing kernel thing. I really like this. It's a very good item to have. Boost health and health regen. Okay, so, the, unfortunately, the commandos do only last a limited amount of time. They don't just last until they die. But that means they're kind of better for just saving up a ton of them and using them on the boss, right? Kind of what we, what we just did there is the ideal use case. Or just saving it for a time where there's a hell of a lot of enemies about, I guess. You're like, look at him go. And he, he has our abilities as well. And he's just kind of an AI controlled. He doesn't like mimic the way that we fire or anything. He just does his own thing. Right. So wait here. Well, you're on fire, but I've set you on fire. Doofus. Okay. Character's looking pretty awesome with all this stuff on him as well. I wonder if when you're making a skin, if you have to account for that, like where things will be placed. That, would, that must be quite annoying if you do. Especially with modded items. I don't know how, you don't even know how that would work. I don't know if all modded items even actually have a visual that shows up on you. I don't know how that works. Seems complicated. Right, Rally Point Delta. Good, good, good. Go, my pretties. I think it might actually be a good idea to just literally hold down right click for the whenever it's ready. Yeah, I'm just going to hold down right click. Whenever it's ready, it just fires. Because it's always going to home in on an enemy, regardless of if there's an enemy about or not, right? So there's no point in letting go. I like the strategy. Oh, I see you there. I love this thing about herming as well. The invisible enemies, it makes it a lot easier to find them. So we've got another one of these here, which is the uh, things that help us out on the actual teleporter events. Don't know how valuable that'll be. Health chest there. Dude, that negative feedback loop seems super common. I seem to find it all the goddamn time. <sighs> 
Damn it. I took an active. Oh, to be fair. To be fair, that could be quite good. Uh, ba basically, now we have a ton of free chests. So I might take this. This might be worthwhile. This is once per, per stage, but I'm guessing that's once per stage per active use, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, at least use it for now and see what happens. Hmm. Oh, wait, no. It's working. Delicate watch. Okay, I like this. <laughs> this is good. This means we basically don't need money anymore. For anything other than big boy drones. I definitely would like some more damaging effects right now. Could use that. I'm getting bled pretty heavily here. This is a, is this a new enemy? It looks to be a new enemy. I thought it was just like a icy version of an enemy I already knew, but it seems to be a new one. Pretty expensive. Ooh, we got a void thing over there. I'd like to see that. Yeah, so it says there I got four out of six uses. So I get six free chests a stage. There's some movement speed increase. Lovely stuff. Okay, what is this? Get off of me, creatures. I need to check what this is. Oh my god, these things are so annoying. Gain an air dash corrupts all herpy feathers. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's that's nice. That's that's basically single-handedly solved my movement issues that I had. See if we can get an ultra yeet going on here. Look at that. Beautiful. See, that's why you buy a ton of um, fuel cells. Now we can zoom. Okay, there's our teleporter. Good to know. I, I reckon there's at least one or two more chests. We've got two left for free, so... I'd like to see if we can get those. How does it work on these? Like, I kind of hack these. Ooh, that is sprint speed, though. Um, I'll take three sprint speeds, thank you. Okay, I can't use it on this. That's fair. Couldn't find anything else. I think we're all out of luck for chests now. I think we're all out of luck. Let's take another little cursory glance over here. There's our time chest, which I've still never been able to open once. I think we're out of luck. Oh wait, no, there's one chest here. I mean, it's freebies. Ooh, sticky bomb chance. I like a sticky bomb chance. I wonder what the, the proc coefficient is for this. I imagine it's not amazing because we're firing so fast. I want to get enough money to buy the big boy drone. It was like 1,800 and something, I think. Yeah, we've got enough. Let's go buy it. Big boy drone. Gimme, gimme. Right, let's go. I'm really hoping I can get some more of these Herpy Feather things. I like it a lot. Double clear Dune Strider. A little bit difficult, but... Ah, regen's gone. It's annoying because the regen from those apple stems is, is pretty hefty. It's 
actually a pretty tricky boss fight, this. The amount of enemies about. I'm gonna take a step back for a minute. It's those fucking balls, man. He hit so damn hard, and he's gonna do the suction thing at some point soon as well. Which is fair, not too bad. I'm really liking this herpy feather thing. I don't know how good my drone is right now, I'll be honest. He might just be kind of dithering about, but it's fun to see a massive drone, isn't it? So, there. Okay, the birth out of their healing phase now, although my health is getting quite low. I think my, that health regen was honestly keeping me healthier than I thought. Oh, dude, really? He's going to healing mode again? Okay, one of them's dead at least. Good. That solves a lot of my problems, but I'd like the other one to also be dead, please. Nice. Detonate on jump. I like that, because I'm, I'm jumping a lot. Buffing that up would, would be quite fun. Oh my god. I think this is what's hurting me, you know. The amount of fucking dudes there is in this goddamn ceiling. Luckily, my jumping seems to be avoiding a lot of their shots, but... There's a lot of them. There's a hell of a lot of them. My drone can't really get in here either, which is problematic. Uh, this fire rate increase on the teleport, by the way, is pretty hefty. I like that. Okay, good, good, good. We're probably safe now. Let's just chill. Oh, fucking... Fire creatures. Bugger off. Okay. Oh, where we go? Nice! Okay, I think we've got a good build going. I think we definitely need some more survivability, though, clearly. But I think otherwise, things, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Especially considering we've got six free chests here. And I believe... What on earth is that thing there? I've never seen that in my entire life. What the hell is that meant to be? Is that an enemy? I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Free legendary chest, baby. Chance to freeze enemies on hit. Don't mind if I diddly do. Ooh, it's a go. You can see, though, my damage output isn't actually all that great right now, so I definitely need more damage. Okay, let's look for big chests to use our freebies on first. There's our teleport. Oh, good to know. I will take another one of these while there's not many enemies about. This is another Herpy Feather. Yes, it is. I get double air dashes. Nice. Let me try and summon enemies nearby. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh god, that, that that wave thing hurt me pretty badly. Hey, there's a big chest. Hey, skills have no cooldown for a short period of killing elite. That's very, very good. Considering this is open, let's go check a look see. Wasn't a big chest, but oh well. fuck is that? Some weird stuff going on in these mods that I don't really recognize. I'm like, glad we just got brainstorms. That's very useful. That's an elite I don't recognize. Oh, my drone dead. I like the way you can dash backwards as well, that's very, very nice. It helps me a lot. Get away from whatever that wave is. I saw it coming. Eh, that's not great.
I've got to have most of our fruit to be fair now. Should I go for this? Is this a bit risky? It definitely is, but fuck it. I believe in myself. Well, don't really know what that thing is. It's firing a lot of shit at me, I can tell you that for sure. Whatever that little wave attack is, is scary. I need to very much keep my distance. I can just hear the metal balls tinging off, like, constantly. Take whatever this blade is. Hoping that gives me a small chance to bleed as well. I don't think I haven't found any more chests left. Surely there's more chests around, but... Okay, we're doing better damage now. I think I think the brain stalks has really helped out. So I'm able to just lob non-stop grenades and stuff now. It means we can set enemies on fire quite a bit. The herming and stuff involved on that. Hey, there's an extra chest. I guess I'll check out what this is. I mean, it gave me an item. I don't really know what that means for us, but it gave me an item. Random. We don't know what the other ones are. Just take the random. Hey, And transfer items on death is very, very good. I think we just want to get out of here. I don't really I don't really know what that, that big boy is, but I can't imagine it's good. So I think we're just gonna get out of here and hope for the best. Ooh, it's 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 four magma worms. It's four goddamn magma worms. That's it. It's actually not that bad, but it could kill us pretty quickly if I make a wrong move. Luckily, Magma Worms kind of do their own thing and just passively deal damage to you. They, they kind of do aim for you, but like if you're moving a lot, it's pretty hard for you to do much. We're doing good damage to them, you can see. Hopefully, we just get Brain to activate more often. Whenever it does, we fire up a ton of uh, our rocket shots. I think we've killed one Magma Worm so far, I think. <laughs> no, I don't think we have, actually. There still seems to be four. Or is it three? Like I said, it's very hard to tell. But luckily, we keep moving like this. There's not much damage they can do to us, really. You can see that my DPS really isn't all that good. I really need some, uh, like, bleed on, on hit or something. A bit too close for comfort there. Multiple times, actually. My god. <laughs> I'm stressed out. There's a flag here that's uh, apparently something I can purchase. I'd like to check out what that is. That flag in the corner there. Look. Let's actually fill up some of the uh, teleporter event now, shall we? One of the magma worms is just like fucking fucked off really high up. He probably is the one that's... Ooh, there you go. Okay, one worm dead, definitely. And the last... Is this the last worm? Looks to be, yeah. Okay, all of them dead. Good, that worked out. We can grab this, which is... Best of movement speed is rather nice. Two of those is good. Okay, now I just want to find out what that is over there. Got a bit of time to wait first, though. A bit of time to kill. I still don't know what this big old thing over here is and if I should be killing it or not. I'm unsure. 
But I feel like it could easily kill me, and I'm gonna it's gonna be a mistake to try and kill it. Things are definitely looking good for us. Oh, that best of movement speed's awesome. Right. Let's go and check out what that was. Eighty percent HP. Un what? If anyone has any idea what happened, let me know. But I don't. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that ends off this episode at a pretty abrupt point there. That's a, that's a shame, because that was a really dumb death, but we have to try new things in modded, and uh, I was unaware of what happened there. I think something from a distance launched something at me. I don't think it was the fuse box that killed me. Either way, what an interesting run. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.